Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. I want to talk to you today about um, how people are trying to ground an outlet to sell their home, and it's incorrect. Uh, the video is done here on July 2018. So if I put in this normal, just a normal stab tester for GFI and trying to figure out, does this have a ground? This red here says it's not grounded. And then when I opened it up, look how they cheated the neutral. They jumpered it. So the minute I touch it, it says it's correct. But do you see how I'm getting an arc right there? See that? If you do that, you are energizing the yoke of the device right here. And then if you put a metal faceplate onto that, you've now energized the faceplate. And if it, especially if it has a two-wire conductor circuit coming in, 240 volts, it could have number circuit 10 red here and circuit 8 over there. But it jumps from a, a 14.3 to a 14.2. Well, that, that neutral is picking up the unbalanced current in this last device before it hits the panel, which the panel is on the outside of this wall. So you got to keep in mind that this is not today's standard. You can read that in 402. 404, talking switches and outlets, 406. You can also read this standard talking in Article 251.22. You're not supposed to mix neutrals and grounds on the back side of your circuit. So again, if you do have that, you're supposed to go back to a two-prong plug. And in my opinion, I have personally never seen a two-prong plug tamper-proof rated without it being a three-prong at a 1520-amp rating. So, especially for a dwelling or a residential. So anyways, guys, just want to show you that real quick. Again, this is not a correct way to do this if we catch this because I knew by opening the panel and saw no grounds in there, but then I came in here and saw tamper-proof plugs and everything was grounded. So I opened this up and look what I found. All right, thanks, guys.